What's up, y'all? You're kicking with the Junkyard Dog. Once again, man, we in the Junkyard in uh, Linwood, Washington. So we're close to Seattle. Uh, we're out here for a Formula Drift competition. So um, yeah, we decided to go stop by Junkyard, go see what we can come up with. We're hoping we can find some maybe GT40 heads or an intake or maybe a G5 and a Mustang or maybe even a Fox body or something. So uh, let's uh, go around and see what we can come up with. All right? Looks like there was a ass over here. There's somebody came and got a hold of it. Be any explorers yet. What the fuck? Huh? You got a film stuff? Huh? Are you allowed to film in here? Yeah, I'm the junkyard dog, man. Oh, that's a, a show on YouTube. We're going to talk about junkyards and what they got. Alright. Oh, look, we found an Explorer. Check it out. So, we got this Explorer. This is a V6. That's a 6. Let's see what we got right here. That's a 6. That's a 6. So, we got a Mustang right here. It's got a T5 in it. It does, but it's gone. So somebody in here, out here is paying attention. V6 Explorers, I don't see no Mustangs. We didn't get lucky like we did in Nevada and like we got lucky in Pennsylvania when we were in our King of Prussia. Prussia. Um, yes, sir. What is it? Junkyard Dogs. Yeah, right, man, from state to state, man, Pennsylvania. New Jersey, all of that, man. So we just came out here for a Formula D. I just go to the junkyard and try to find shit. That's Performance cool. parts and Mustang, which you going for right now? What you looking for? I'm actually trying to get the valve springs out. Oh, okay. Yeah, See? Uh, I, I was uh, messing with mine. I, I replaced the cylinder heads. I blew one of the, I blew a hole through the cylinder head. I, I, it's, it's a car we've had for a long time. Sounds like you're driving it like I was supposed to do. Yeah, I, I did a <laughs> manual swab. I mean, I'm only 21. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Like, but I teach all of that on my YouTube, dog. Yeah, Junkyard I'm dogs, two Gs. Okay. All right, yeah, I teach all of that. Actually, we were looking for T5s because we rebuilt the T5s out of those and teach people how to make them work in all uh, Mustangs. Yeah. Foxes, okay. SN95. Okay. I, got, I got a GPT5 rebuild kit, the one that's 900 horsepower. Oh, for real? It's got a stage three clutch, billet aluminum flywheel, and it has a uh, aluminum dry shaft. Oh, so my transmission is ready for power, but I need to get I need to get it running because it's also my daily. Oh, see. Okay, I get you. I feel you. Yeah. That's uh, all right. Well, yeah, check it out, man. Player. If you get a chance, man, check it out. You can learn this, man. Sounds good, man. All right, y'all. Take care. There's one more Mustang right here, but... So, yeah, no, I didn't see anything. So that's it, man. They don't have any V8s, uh, V8 Mustangs. They don't have any V8 uh, Explorers, but they do have some um, Aerostar, so you can take the passenger side axle, make them work for a uh, five lug swap on your 8.8 .8 rear end. Um, they did have a Ranger in here, which you could also use for a uh, driver side axle for your 8.8 .8, uh, swap. So yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta use what you can find. They also had a new, uh, like a, nine, a 2001 Mountaineer, Mercury Mountaineer, for those of you guys who don't know, you can use the aluminum uh, diff cover on your 8.8. .8. It bolts right on, no problem. Instead of spending 100 and 
uh, 10 bucks on a B&M aluminum cover, you can get one from a Mountaineer, it'll do the same thing, all right? So yeah, that's it. Man, Vinny V, dude, just uh, just kicking out the junkyard. Junkyard dogs all the way, follow them. These guys know what's up, dude, all the way.